the Confederation of Greek Civil Servants, opposition parties, activists, students and the Palestinian community marching their thousands against the escalating violence in Gaza. They say Israel continues to violate international treaties by building illegal settlements and using disproportionate violence against civilians. This comes as Palestinian diplomats in Greece also consider the Israeli onslaught as a desperate attempt by Israel to end its isolation. Israel has rejected all efforts of Western and regional diplomats towards a solution, and this has isolated Israel more than ever in the international community. To get out of this tight corner, Israel needed an extreme geopolitical event, hence the latest offensive on Gaza. Israel presents itself as the victim. It attracts international attention by targeting civilians. Despite criticism, the Greek government has entered a deep strategic, economic and commercial alliance with Israel in the last four years of the spiraling financial crisis. At the moment, there is not much difference between US and EU foreign policy concerning Palestine and meanwhile regional politics have changed. There are Russian and Chinese interests in alternative energy resources and the immense natural gas reserves of the wider Mediterranean region. Apparently Greece wants to involve itself in new alliances and act as the political bridge between Israeli and European Union foreign policies. The UN says 18 10 Palestinians killed in Israel's airstrikes on Gaza have been civilians. This collective battering of innocents is not going unnoticed in Greece, a war crime forbidden by the fourth Geneva Convention to which Israel is a party. Kostin Venizelos, Press TV Athens.